Elena was born as a result of in vitro fertilization. She didn't know her biological father and is not allowed to know him. However, the irrepressible need to understand her identity led her to investigate her origins. I found out some stuff about my father. Um, I found out that he was Polish. I found out that um, he was raised Catholic. And so that's when I first became interested in Catholicism. And, and uh, the Pope, Pope John Paul II, St. John Paul II, because I, um, I wanted to know more about my biological father who I couldn't access. Because of this discovery, Elena decided to study the works of the most influential Polak, St. John Paul II. His writings and catechesis on human love led her to discover faith. Elena decided to delve deeper into the teachings on love and discovered Paul VI and Umane Vitae. From there, she was inspired to make the documentary Sexual Revolution, 50 Years Since Umane Vitae. It explains the complicated ethical dilemmas presented by the scientific advancements of the 20th century in contraception and the teachings of the church. Some young people need to know the reason for the faith. They need the, they need the Thomas Aquinas version of the reasons why we believe this or we believe that. Others, uh, with a more simple faith, just want to know what the church teaches. So, in a certain sense, the film has both. The documentary presents different figures who contributed to the era. The creator of the contraceptive pill, Gregory Goodwin Pincus, and other scientists such as John and Evelyn Billings are featured. Also included is the Australian couple, who investigated a natural method to regulate the birth rate according to church teachings. I love the music from the 1960s and, and that era, but their ideas on human sexuality and the birth control pill um, were wrong. So in the movie we try to take the good, which is some of the music, and reframe it for today and, um, and still infuse that, that sense of love and togetherness and try to bring people together in this new sexual revolution. Elena thus produced a song for the documentary with a profound meaning. As a composer, she used the 60s style to transmit this important message. The song says, you're the reason I believe in love. And it's a song dedicated to uh, Paul VI, who of course wrote Humanity Tape. And it's sort of a nod in his direction for what he did in, in explaining, even 50 years ago, uh, reasons to believe in love. Paul VI Humanae Vitae was one of the most complicated documents written by a pope in the 20th century. It clashed with a strong secular current and was met with opposition within the church itself. 